الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الرسل وخاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وإمام المتقين سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters and children, today we are coming to the last few days, only one day and one night left with us of this blessing month of Ramadan. And it's about to leave us and we won't have Ramadan for another year. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us all and extend our life, bless us with life so we can enjoy once again this blessing month of Ramadan. While we have this next 24 hours with us, we can still remind ourselves a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once he was while he was sitting on the on the member on his place of abode where from where he used to give sermons so on when he sat on the first step so he said amin then when he put his foot foot on the next step he said amin and then on the third step when he put his foot sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said ameen it was very unusual and whenever sahaba idwanullah ta'ala anhum ajma'in used to see such action from the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they will ask the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they would say O Prophet of Allah, why, why you have done this in different way? You, have, you used to do it in this way. Why you done it this way? So they asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that what is the reason for this unusual act? So they said, the Prophet ﷺ said to them, فَأَخْبَرَهُمْ أَنَّ جِبْرِيلُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ قَالَ لِي أَوْ قَالَ لَهُ That Jibreel alayhi salam informed me and he said, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, خَابَ وَخَسِرَ وَأَبْعَدَهُ اللَّهِ Loss and doom and be thrown out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal, the person وَدَخَلَ النَّارِ and should enter into the hellfire and this is actually Jibreel alayhi salam informing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so there are four very harsh words 
coming from the arch and angel of Jibreel alayhi salam, of course coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he doesn't speak or say anything from himself. And he said in front of Sayyidul Anbiya wal Mursaleen Muhammad ibn Abdullah Khatam al Nabiyyin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said in front of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is Sayyidul Anbiya wal Mursaleen Khatam al Nabiyyin, Rahmatul lil Alameen. And when he said these four words, Khaba wa Khasir, loss and destruction and being thrown out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abadahu Allah wa dakhala al-nar and entered into the hellfire all all these four ulama think are linked but the last one dakhala al-nar is the result and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he said it and I said, I mean, so he said three times the three different things. On the first step, he said, Man adraka Ramadan, summan salakh wa lam yaghfir lahu, qala ameen. Whoever actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given him the month of Ramadan, an opportunity in the month of Ramadan, and summan salakha, and then Ramadan finished. But this person, walam yughfar lahu, this person did not make any efforts to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and missed the opportunity. So, these three bad curses or du'as against this person by Jibreel alayhi salam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam accepted it and said ameen on it and no doubt about it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely accept such persons or, or du'a of such people or such status so Ramadan man adraka Ramadan summan salakh wa lam yughfar lahu this is very important that we still have 24 hours if we haven't come back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and repented so here is the time now is the time 24 hours left to make ourselves lucky to get us out from this very harsh words of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and and jibrail alayhi salam and protect ourselves from the hellfire. My respected brothers and sisters, people will say, well, I'm going to live long, you know. Shaitan always tell us. And keep in our mind, Shaitan actually mislead us and tell us that you're going to live very long. You are still young. You do this and you do that. You have wealth. You have abilities. You have, you are clever. Your job is very good and you, your profession is very high. You have that insurance and that is this and that. The reality is that human beings are very weak. We are very weak. Weak is creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It just in a matter of second and minutes, the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changes and the destiny change. So here is the time that we grab this opportunity. And then on second time, the Prophet وسلم, said that, I said, I mean again, because Jibreel alayhi salam said, whoever found his parents, either one of them or both of them, and they were in need of his service, and 
he did not serve them. So they were in need of his service, where you know needed khidma. So Jibrail alayhi salam said these harsh words for such person as well. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said, Ameen. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the opportunity to serve our parents. Serving our parents is such a great reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the person's fee well and forthcoming generations. Dua comes from the parents and the mercy and kindness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We earn the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through that. May Allah make us all to fulfill that very important duty, moral and ethical duty. And the third person, the third hard luck person who is mentioned here by Jibrail alayhi salam, the person in front of whom your name or Prophet of Allah is mentioned and that person does not send salutation upon you. Doesn't say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. So we say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salutation on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is blessing. It's rewards. When salla alayhi maratan sallallahu alayhi ashra. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying whoever sent salutation once upon me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with his mercy ten times. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad wa barik wa sallim wa sallim. So, 24 hours left with us to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal. One, second is that if we have the rights and how to fulfill the rights of our parents if they are still alive we should pay visit to them, we serve them, we ask their forgiveness, we seek their du'as. If they have passed away, we seek forgiveness for them. We give charity on their behalf. We start something which is a continuous thawab for them. Digging well, uh, building a mosque, paving a path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them. And salutation on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We must, during the day and night, reserve time when we say salutation on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's very rewardable. It brings blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Azza wa Jal. It brings barakah and it removes all difficulties and the very harsh kind of test coming upon a person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes it with the barakah of salutation on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Awunana Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Awunana Muhammadin mi adadi khalqik wa rida nafsik wa zinat arshika wa midada kalimatik. You can say Allahumma salli ala you can say shortly sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or you can say Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina wa ala Muhammad. Or you can say the salutation which is mentioned in the salat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama salli ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. Innaka hamil majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barik ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. So, these are three things, very important ones. And all of them are within our limit, within our ability, within our strength. So we still have 24 hours of Ramadan to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we, if our parents are with us, 
we should serve them and if they are not with us we should show courteousness and politeness and if they passed away we seek forgiveness we make dua for them and salutation on the prophet so i'm asking and reminding myself and you all of you that these three acts should be concentrated on during this next four, 24 hours and then of course this time 24 hours still left and this is like an open market for gaining the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal allahu akbar and making istighfar and coming close to allah and if somebody have the ability and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given them understanding and still neglect this month will be a great a very great sadness for such person so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us to do more and more and as i said that very important element of ramadan is that we learn so many good things and good amal but then we stop them after ramadan immediately after ramadan so continuing with the month of Ram with the amal which we started in the month of ramadan it is very important otherwise our example will be that a person starts a good work good project something very good and then immediately finish and close it down and this is exactly what happens that people actually they don't continue their a'mal their deeds allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to do more and more and continue with our a'mal and continue with our deeds and that's what comes from the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says ahabbu al-'amali ila allah adwamuhu wa in qalla the most love acts or actions to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from us our a'mal our deeds adwamu which are consistent happening all the time wa in qalla even if they are smaller in number whether it is charity whether it is recitation of the holy quran whether it is praying nawafil whether it is doing ihsan and good to others and wa ahabbu al-'amali ila rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alladhi yudawimu alayhi sahibuhu and the most favorite action or acts of people to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to be the one which a person the doer would do it continuously all the time and this is what happens in the family of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when they used to do something, 
amalan asbatu whenever they used to do something good they used to continuously do it with consistency no break in so this is very important that we continue with our a'mal with our good deeds whether those good deeds are either recitation of the holy quran reading salat tahajjud during the night saying astaghfar i said to you regularly saying astaghfar every day the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal and of course the most important of all is actually punctuality with five times daily salat and alhamdulillah those of us whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enabled them with his blessing and mercy and kindness to fast during the month of ramadan to do good work to give charity to help others to exercise patience sabr and did ibadah and qiyam al layl we mustn't neglect the next 24 hours by saying we have done a lot and therefore we don't need any more but in fact now what we left with is to thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's the thanksgiving time and with the momentum of asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the desire from our hearts and mind that allah azza wa jal keep us on the right track as well as extend our life until the next month of ramadan this is very important that's what we heard from our elders in the ummah whether it is sahaba tabi'in or tabi tabi'in that they used to make dua and used to ask that oh allah extend our life to the next month of ramadan and accept our duas our prayers our qiyam our charities during this month may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept ours as well now we all know that we are going through lockdown the situation is very different this year we are all staying at home in in in, in our homes and we will be praying eid as, as well in our homes and inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove this difficulty from us and when the masajids are open when the mosques are open when we go back to our normal life normal activities we will be able to do more and more ibadah but meanwhile it is very important that we take this opportunity of 24 hours and pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal with concentration devotion and sincerity for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal with ikhlas with sincerity ameen allahumma wafiqna lima tuhibbu wa tarda 
and now making dua inshallah alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen was salatu was salamu ala sayyid al anbiya wal mursaleen sayyidina wa mawlana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in allahumma rabbana aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna 'ala al-qawm al-kafirin allahumma a'inna 'ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa ta'atika wa husni ibadatik wa kfina bi halalika an haram wa aghnina bi fadlika amman siwak اللهم رب لا تدع لنا في هذا اليوم وفي هذا الشهر المبارك ذنبا الا غفرته ولا دينا الا قضيته ولا هما الا فرجته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة وهي لك رضا ولنا فيها صلاح وفلاح يا رب العالمين اللهم هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين يا رب العالمين رب اغفر وارحم وتجاوز عما تعلم فإنك أنت الأعز والأكرم اللهم اغفر لنا يا رب اللهم اغفر لنا يا رب Oh Allah bless us with your mercy and kindness during these just few moments of the month of Ramadan and enable us to repent to you wholeheartedly accept our tawbah and keep us on the right path wa sallallahu wa sallam ala sayyidina wa ulana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahim inshallah until tomorrow have be safe and may Allah keep you safe and inshallah I'll see you tomorrow assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh